What is up everybody? It's King Kunta, and today I have another amazing World of Warcraft gold farm for you guys. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can farm an item up, and it's literally, I'm joking, like not joking at all, it's worth up to 1.2 million gold on most servers from what I've seen right now. And um, there's really no competition for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the location, the item, the mob, all that good stuff, all the good information that you're going to need to know to farm it. So, first things first, we are down here in the Cape of Stragglethorn. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out there now. I have covered this farm before, but I'm just bringing it back into the light now to show you guys that there's still profit you can make, and a million gold profit is pretty good still. So, <clears throat> basically the idea is... We're going to come down here to Crystal Vein Mine in the Cape of Stragglethorn, which is in the Eastern Kingdoms. And uh, we're right down here, just so you guys know. And once you get here, we're going to enter this cave. Now, inside of the cave, there's going to be an NPC called Scalebelly. Now, Scalebelly is interesting because he has about a one hour to one and a half hour respawn time. And he has, on top of that, a one percent or 1 to about 2% chance to drop the chromatic sword. As you can see, someone is obviously camping for him still because I am on a high pop server, but I did check this on my um, other character who is on a low pop server, and he actually found that he was able to farm it right away because the mob was actually just spawned there. So if you are on a low pop server, I expect you guys to get this item like instantly. Like, I expect it instantly, but... He does spawn up here and there is a 1% chance to get him. So ideally you want to be quick on the draw or have a macro that you can spam or uh, something along those lines. And uh, when you do kill him, there will be a chance for him to drop this million dollar drop. Now when I checked on my auction house, I only saw that there was actually one of them on the auction house right now. So keep that in mind. I would check your auction house uh, just to see how many are up there. Uh, of course, if there's a ton, probably don't go farm it, but if there's literally only one or two, I definitely think this is an item that you can farm. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, oh, the chromatic sword, you know, why? Well, it's still worth a million gold, and people buy it literally just for the look. There is no other item in World of Warcraft that looks quite like the chromatic sword, and I think that this item is super unique and rare. Now, the only really tricks i found to making this farm easier is having some sort of instant cast AoE. I personally, I am a druid, so I have um, Moonfire and Sunfire, so I'm able just to, you know, just instant spam this and auto-target all everything around me, and it's really no problem for me. If you are a melee character, you want to stand right about here because this is where the mob will spawn, and if you spam it, you spam some kind of macro or your uh, melee button, if you get first hit, you should be okay. Now, when this mob does spawn, you want to make sure you are on the draw. It spawns about every hour. If you're on a low pop server, I was able to get it literally as soon as I ran to the cave because there was no one here. Um, but there might be a little bit of competition, but I believe if you're on later at the night and, or not, well, later at night and on, you know, uh, times that aren't super popular on your server, you're going to have a lot better luck and chances about killing this mob and actually achieving the drop from this location. Now, this is a rare item. It will be pretty hard to get. It's a 1% drop on a 1 hour respawn mob. Well, 1 to 2% chance uh, for a drop. So it's quite rare, but it's honestly, it's the best odds that I can find to make a million gold super quick in World of Warcraft. Because you literally can come here at level whatever. You have a chance of making a million gold, so you could quite possibly earn your WoW token. Or, you know, I don't even know how much. This is probably, what, I think two or three WoW tokens on my server about... No, yeah, about three or four WoW tokens. So, you know, that, that's a good amount of WoW time. So you guys could actually get really lucky off this farm if you come check out this spot. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to cut the video. And we're going to talk about the YouTube channel, where we're at, all that good stuff. What you can be expecting. And, yeah. All that yada yada yada. So if you stayed this far, if you could leave a like, comment, or maybe even subscribe, that would really help out the channel. And uh, yeah, we'll see you after this cut. And remember, every all the support you know that you guys give me really helps me out. So I, I just want to say thanks for that. But we'll cut the video, and I'll see you in Stormwind, I believe. Yeah, Stormwind. All right, see you there. Bye. All right, everybody. Well, we're not quite in Stormwind, but we're pretty close. So. 
I wanted to talk about a few points and a few upcoming things for the channel and I think that you guys should know them so that's why I figured I'd bring them up now. So the first thing that I would like to go ahead and dive into would be um, <clears throat> World of Warcraft, or sorry not World of Warcraft but sorry Warcraft 3 and um, World of Warcraft Classic. Now it has kind of like bewildered me if I should cover these or not because I don't really know if my fan base, aka all you guys, would actually be interested in seeing that. Now I think I might put a community poll up in a day or two and I'll be able to tell you guys um, <clears throat> you know, whether or not I should cover these or something but I'd just like to kind of gauge your guys' reaction now if you guys watch this point in the video. <clears throat> you guys are kind of the people that I want, you know, to, to know these kind of decisions before I make them. So I think I might do a playthrough of Warcraft 3 Remastered if you guys believe that that would be something interesting that I can do. <clears throat> um, I believe that I probably will end up doing that because basically I just want to play that anyways. And um, if you guys would like, you know, tips on how to make gold in World of Warcraft Classic because that those might be some interesting videos I think. If I uh, brought those to you, I'd obviously put like a little tag or something in the bottom of the video that shows it's World of Warcraft Classic and that we're not on regular World of Warcraft. But if you guys think gold farming videos on World of Warcraft Classic or just maybe videos in World of Warcraft Classic in general would be interesting, um, <clears throat> I could go ahead and put those out there for you guys. Uh, as well if you guys would like that so what I'm basically asking is just for some feedback from you guys if I could just have some kind of general idea um, of what kind of videos I should be putting out in the future because I would like to extend um, to more things than just you know Battle for Azeroth and all this like I mean I'd like to go ahead and play classic and show you all the different ways to farm gold for classic or, you know, do a playthrough with my subs of um, Warcraft 3 Remastered or something along those lines. I just don't know if I have the kind of personality as a YouTuber to go ahead and do that for you guys. If you guys, you know, enjoy my personality enough to do that, I might go ahead and uh, do that. We'll see. I, <clears throat> I can't really decide. But in, I believe, a few months from now, we will be having a daily streaming schedule, hopefully. And... Ah, man, there's some big aspirations that I've got going for, but um, in a few months, I'll actually be able to be doing YouTube and Twitch as my full-time job, so I will actually, you know, be able just to make all my income off that, and that'll be really nice because I can just put in tons of time to play with you guys, and if Warcraft 3 comes out and World of Warcraft Classic comes out, I think those would be some cool games that I could stream and play with my subscribers because... You guys don't really get any opportunities to play with me that I know about, and if you do, they were for from like a long time ago, probably months ago, I think is the last time I had my live stream. So, um, I will be streaming eventually. Not now, but it will be coming, so keep that in mind. I do really, really want to do a playthrough of World of Warcraft Classic because it kind of reminds me of back in the day when I used to play World of Warcraft. Um, back in probably, I don't know, 5th grade or something like that, and I could share those nostalgia memories with you guys because I kind of grew up along the same time uh, I think most of my viewers did, so we kind of have, I believe, some of the same memories, so I'd like to go ahead and do a playthrough with that because, you know, I could, and believe it or not, my first character was an undead uh, priest, so I'd like to go ahead and go back, make an undead priest, you know, do something along those lines uh, for World of Warcraft Classic. And if you guys think that'd be interesting, let me know down below, please, because I really need some feedback from you guys <laughs> about right now, because I really, I, I want to get World of Warcraft Classic, but I can't justify it if none of my viewers are going to get it, is the problem, or going to, you know, watch any videos that I make based off of it, so I think until I get some feedback from you guys based on that, um, you know, I'm not going to go ahead and make a decision yet. So please let me know if you think that me covering World of Warcraft Classic would be cool. Or Warcraft 3 Remastered in general, if they ever release that thing. Anyways guys, it's been King Kuntha. Thanks for staying to the end of the video if you did. If you did, comment Kappa down below. And any question you have, I'll make sure I get to. And uh, also, leave a like or comment down below. Show support in some way. 
and uh, we'll see you all in the next video, and I love you all, and goodbye.